Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles, also known as Titi Gori. Today I'm really excited to bring you um, another peek into my secret obsession of hoarding costume jewelry. Today I'll be highlighting the fall jewelry as well as Halloween jewelry. So without further ado, let's get started. I want to show you what I have. But before we do get started, I want to just tell you a little bit about some of the pieces that I'm currently work wearing. Um, I'm starting off with my awesome headband that I bought um, over the weekend in Saratoga. Um, headband by Nam Josh. Um, it's a headband that's made of silk, handmade with embellishments, beading, crystals, uh, sequins, and all the gaudy stuff that I love. This necklace is also a recent acquisition. Uh, many of you might be familiar with it. It's from Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. I actually bought this uh, for $7 and there were two for sale. So I bought both of, both of them. Um, and they go for about $100. And I was looking to buy this, this particular piece. So when I got to see it at the thrift store, I was ecstatic. This ring is a 14 karat ring. It's um, Mystic Topaz. If you can take a look at it, you'll see that it um, has many, many different colors. And this bangle here is a stretch bangle, vintage, um, also um, from the thrift store. And it's very versatile and and I really love it. So I'm really excited. To show so let's get started right into the fall jewelry, which will lead us into the Halloween jewelry. So the first thing I'm gonna take a look at is this fabulous, fabulous cornucopia of beautiful fruit jewels, rhinestone encrusted cornucopia. If this was huge and big, it would be ridiculous. Um, these are all prong set uh, rhinestones in topaz color here. Then you have like a peridot with ruby, um, um, amethyst, which depicts like uh, grapes, apples, cherries, and it's just an amazing piece. Um, I bought this maybe 25, 30 years ago, a long, long time. And the back has a cartouche. Interestingly enough, the cartouche says lead free. Um, so this is sort of a, I guess, a modern retro since it's over 20 years old. Um, but um, it's really, really a fabulous piece. Then I have here a beautiful leaf rhinestone in uh, brown topaz with peridot and um, dark topaz surrounding the leaf. In New York, we have amazing, amazing um, leaf peeping season, which just happens to be now in October. Um, if you ever had uh, the, the privilege and the pleasure of going through New England into New York, you'll see the beautiful colorations of the leaves and there's nothing more spectacular than that at this point. This here has um, an orange rhinestone here, which I find very interesting. I never really noticed that before until I'm taking a look at it now with you guys. Isn't that fabulous? So this is my leaf peeping brooch. Here's another leaf. Um, and this one has an ombre effect where you have the lighter topaz going into the darker topaz. Another leaf brooch um, It's vintage. Um, it looks sort of brand new, but I know that it's old. Um, the stones are prong set and you have all different variations of topaz. And this is actually how the leaves look here in New York in the fall. It's just spectacular. This is a brooch, brooch, excuse me, a brooch. <laughs> There's an, a brooch and um, it's matching earrings. So imagine wearing something like this on your lapel or your collar, and then you have the earrings to match. It's really a gorgeous peach piece. Again, with the beautiful colors of orange, um, dark shade of orange, a lighter shade of orange, and the topi um, stones, all prong set. And the back of each of these pieces says made in Austria. And I feel that the Austrian uh, rhinestones are perhaps the best made rhinestones out there. Um, they rival all, I mean, just look at the way it's glistening. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. 
Here is a pair of earrings I acquired probably about a year ago. I don't have the matching brooch, but I can see that it matches nicely with this brooch right here. So I can totally see somebody wearing that even though it's not a set. These are vintage, probably from the 50s. Um, and you wear them, there's each a side for each side of your ears. So it's supposed to be worn like this um, on your ears. And it kind of has a little bit of a spray um, these are Marquise cut, um, again, brown topaz with a lighter shade of topaz, emerald cut, um, uh, prong set in, um, in the, you know, in the, I guess in the middle, um, with another Marquise stone, um, offset. These are clip-on earrings, and for a long time, I hated clip-on, clip-on earrings, but now when I buy, see them, I buy them because they don't really make that many clip-on earrings anymore. And um, I know that these are vintage, so they're really, really nicely made earrings. So, um, la no, actually, there's one more uh, full piece of um, jewelry um, after this. These are huggables, and they are stunning on your ear. They're like little droplets of uh, persimmons. So that's why I call these my persimmon earrings. And actually, they're X's and O's. So he got the X here and the O here. And they're huggable. They hug your ear and they get close to your earlobes. Um, this here is a Heidi Douse from QVC. I think I bought these within the past five or six years. So they're relatively new. They're not vintage. But um, they're really beautiful on. And um, I'll probably wear these tomorrow, actually. And last but not least are these earrings. The nice thing about these earrings is it has this little tiny little earring. Okay. Has all the colors of the fall, including the orange, green, um, a lighter citrine, and a brown topaz. So in this one little earring, you have all the colors of the fall, and I had to get these, especially since the fact that these um, hanging earrings are harder to find, rhinestone like this. Most of the time you see them, they're clip-ons. So it's nice to get a pair of rhinestone earrings that really pack a big punch as far as, see how they, they look at that, as far as um, the way they glisten and all the colors that are in here. Just a gorgeous piece. Let's get into some of the Halloween pieces. Um, I'm gonna show you my bat collection. So this is one of my bats that I happen to love, love, love um, bats. And I think they're the one most misunderstood creatures out there. And in uh, Puerto Rico, these bats are called morcielagos, morcielagos, um, and um, when we were younger, they used to say that, you know, be careful with your long curly hair because the bats like to fly into it and, tang and get tangled in there and they'll bite you. Um, and it's hard to get them off. And I was petrified over these bats. Um, but now I just love them because I love critters. This is a really, really, um, cool piece here. This, this bracelet. And I've worn this on many occasions. Um, this one I got maybe about within the past six years, I want to say. It's sort of flimsy, but it really is just a beautiful piece. I just love it. And I wear it during the Hall Halloween uh, time. Um, bats are very symbolic. They're um, considered, unfortunately, because of the negative connotation with vampires and, and creatures of the dark and their fangs and they love to eat blood and all this um, some bats are actually um, vegetarians, and their poop is called guano. And <laughs> I remember that from the movie uh, with Jim Carrey. Um, but this one's really, really pretty. You can see the there's some stars on the um, clasp. Stars depicting, I guess, the night. And... This bat is just beautiful. Bats symbolizes birth and rebirth when it's on the positive and um, 
when it has a negative connotation, I believe it symbolizes death. This is a really fabulous uh, bat necklace. I like it because it's pretty long. Um, it's probably a 24 inch necklace. And so you can hang it real low. I'll probably wear this tomorrow actually, now that I come to think of it, um, this one. Uh, because it's the, the, the it's October here and um, why not? But here's the back of this necklace, which I like the way they kind of finished it off really beautifully. Um, and then the front. This bat happens to have these huge ears, whereas this back has the smaller baby ears. But this bat over here has a bit of a chest. Oops, let me put this on the camera so you can see better. Um, so um, this is interesting. Different depictions of, of the bats. Isn't that cool? This one's not branded. Then I have this really, really special piece here. And um, I can't even remember where I bought this piece. This piece here is, I wish you can see it. It's like a vampire. And it's very delicate and small. She's like flying in the air. Kind of reminds me of that movie, um, Van Helsing when those beautiful uh, vampires were flying in the air. Um, unfortunately, those vampires were deadly. This one looks just sweet. She is nude. Um, and what I like about this is the wings have a finished satin look to it. As you, it has a little bit of a shine, but the woman in the body is a little on the rougher side, more matted. This is the back of this piece, and it says 925, so it is sterling with a sterling chain. I bet you if my daughter saw this, she would probably love to wear it. I probably need to send this to her, but that's what that looks like, and she's very delicate. I've never seen anything like it before. It's very pretty. Okay, so now let's go to our tarantula. Now look at this piece. This one, my daughter has arachnophobia. So if she saw this, she probably wouldn't appreciate it one bit. But that is one big spider. Look at the back of that. It's not made. I think um, I've seen some name brand versions of this. Some made with real um, stones. Um, some higher quality. This happens not to be such a high quality piece, but it still packs a punch. I really love it a lot. This here is a really special um, pumpkin piece. The, the orange are rhinestones, all prong set, and the eyes and nose are black enamel. It is a very well-made piece. Um, everything is soldered, as you can see in the back constructed very beautifully and it's a very lovely lovely piece I wore often during the holidays this is a raven it's from the Universal Studios um, QVC collection and um, I bought it because I live in the Bronx and um, some of you may know that Edgar Allan Poe lived in the Bronx and he was the creator of the uh, short story the Raven and this is a raven brooch. So when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of a Poe Park, where I used to sometimes go in the summer times. They used to have concerts there. Um, in actuality, a little known fact that maybe some of you might not know is that um, they recently inaugurated uh, the street that's right at the tip of where Poe Park is, uh, Batman Way. Um, I think it's called, oh, I forget. I, I'll, I'll put it down on the uh, descriptions, but it was uh, the creator of Batman. He actually created Batman sitting on a bench at Poe Park where Edgar Allan Poe lived. So this brooch sort of is my homage to Edgar Allan Poe, Poe Park, and the Bronx. This here is not really meant to be a Halloween piece. This is a vintage Maravella. I happen to have the same exact brooch with um, a red and turquoise color combination. Very similar to this one. Really, really beautiful, stunning piece. 
This is not prong set, this is glue set, which I don't prefer, but I just had to get this piece because it does have the beautiful Halloween colors. This is the construction on the back, and as you can see in the corner over here is the cartouche with the Maravella um, name brand on it. Let's go to these critters here. These guys, I wish I could remember where I got them, but these are freaking awesome. Look at the hat. The hat, this is all handmade. I'm gonna show you the back because you have to see the construction of the brooch part. It's not, you know, top of the line, high quality. But what I do love about this piece is just that handmade quality to them. Um, I think I got these off of a catalog, a paper catalog, and I must have bought them maybe 10 years ago. Um, but the face is all hand painted. The body is constructed almost like what they use to, uh, to, to put casts on your hand, that cast material. So whatever that is. And then you have um, this beautiful cloth and the legs are made with wires and everything is just painted. Look at the beautiful details on here. This is a multi-media, um, um, multi-material um, piece, um, including the hat, which is looks like cardboard. It's just so freaking adorable. And take a look at this guy. He's the mummy. And the mummy, look at his eyes. Looks like my boyfriend John's eyes. They're blue, just like that. Um, and he's got these creepy critters on him. For some people, they'll they'll probably get grossed out by the critters. I happen to love them. Um, they're bugs, or spiders, rather. Um, this is made with that cast material. It is hand-painted. Um, it's just really a fun, fun piece. And um, I should probably leave these out and wear them because there's how many chances are you going to be able to, to wear these guys? And this is my favorite of the trio. I really wish I could remember where I bought them. And I have a funny feeling I bought them off of a catalog um, about 10 years ago. Look at this guy. He's my favorite. Look at his devil ears, hand-painted face, um, wire uh, uh, pitchfork, wired tail. And you could position it. I really wouldn't want to mess with that too much because um, it's kind of delicate. The brooch. And then you have this fabric wing. And um, the detailing. And then the antiquing. Look at his horns. Poke out like that. Um, if you look at the side of his face, they even have a little bump for the nose. Just a lovely, lovely piece. Really, really well done. Just so you can see the trio. Look at these guys. That's fun. That's Halloween. Now we're going to go to the high-end version of pins. This is a pin by... Um, Maximal Art. And these are high quality pins. Okay. So it says Halloween. And it's in this um, resin. Um, inside the resin is um, rhinestones. Black rhinestones. So you have the Halloween um I guess writing, and then you have the rhinestones, and then they're both encased in resin on a beautiful brass uh, square. This is the way it looks from this direction, so you can see it's flat. And then they attach to it this amazing um, velvet uh, cloth um, tassel, and on the tassel is this buckle and it does slide up and down so you can bring it up or you can bring it down and then on here is this fabulous fabulous skull and it's decorated from the front and the back and this is what the back of the brooch looks like so you can see isn't that gorgeous and then you can see the cartouche with the maximal art on there. So this is, actually I just realized it says boo, boo, Halloween.
Boo Halloween. And the same idea, but with this black cat. And I have a black cat. Her name is Lila. And I did a cat video, cat jewelry video, that I could probably could have put this in there, but I'm glad I saved it for the Halloween video. Same idea. This one has a little leaf. It's, um, it's a resin encrusted picture of a cat. And with the rhinestones inside the resin, you have this beautiful buckle with seed pearls. Um, the buckle can move up and down. You have this amazing, gorgeous um, velvet ribbon tassel. And the tassel has a little bit of, sh uh, of sparkles. Uh, the back of it is also similar to the other back with the Maximal Arts cartouche and the, um, and the prongs. This, I believe I bought within 10 years out on Long Island when I lived out there. Um, and I remember the store was going out of business, so I got a really good deal on both of these. And I think there was a third, but I didn't have enough money for the third. But I'm glad I got these two. They're stunning, I say. Last but not least, before I'm finished with this um, showing, is this really adorable black cat. Um, earrings and these are a recent acquisition i got these when i got the Jen kenneth j lane the kjl a necklace that i'm wearing the same day um so it was this week that i bought these and i bought them one because i knew i was doing a halloween video two because my lila cat three because i collect halloween jewelry four because i just adore cats so there's many many reasons to um buy these these pieces of jewelry and this jewel this one happens to be a black cat I can wear for Halloween. I can wear for just every day. Um, it has these cute little rhinestone um, eyes and with the black enamel. And the back hmm, says Avon. They're actually made by Avon. So that's it for my fall and Halloween jewelry collection. Stay tuned for my other um, fabulous collections that I'll be showing you for the holidays. I have um, a Christmas collection and a copper jewelry. Uh, so that's going to be the next two videos I do. So if you're interested in seeing those, please hit subscribe, hit like, bring, give me your comments. I love reading the comments. I love answering them. So I answer all my comments. So please hit the subscribe button. Hit like. Let me know you like these videos. Um, cause I'm really having a great deal of fun doing them for you. So, ciao.